the Mac Voices update for January 2024. This is Mac Voices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. This is the Mac Voices January 2024 update, the first update of the year. Hard to believe that the first month of the year is pretty much gone, but CES, some other business obligations and all, really made it seem to rush by. So a couple things here we want to talk about this time around. First of all is our CES coverage. This year I'm doing something a little bit different. To make sure that you get the coverage in a, a bit less frantic uh, fashion, I'm releasing two, maybe three different interviews every day as opposed to just trying to edit them and dump them into the feed and get them to you immediately. Some have criticized this because they say, well, but the CES information is already out of date. No, it's not. Okay, You are interested in the products. I don't think it really matters that much when there's almost nothing that is actually timely. And in so many cases, a lot of the vendors don't even release their products until later in the year that we're talking to them about. So the idea is to to put you on our shoulder, take you to CES, see what it's like to walk around the press events and walk around the show floor, walk up to a booth that looks interesting or that maybe we've done a little homework on and talk with their folks. Let them tell you what it is about their products because obviously we're interested in the new products and they know them better than we do because we haven't seen them yet. So if you are not sure about whether you're receiving all of the updates or all of these shows, please check your podcatcher because some, if I put two or three feeds uh, shows into the feeds on a given day, they may only download the most recent one. So check your settings, make sure you're seeing everything. And of course, subscribe to the Mac Voices Dispatch newsletter because every week I send that out and it also lists all of the shows that week the last few weeks and in the next couple coming weeks, it also will list all of the CES videos that are being released. That way you make sure you don't miss a thing. And you can click and watch or listen to the interviews right from within your email client as well. So I want to make sure you don't miss anything because we've already released some really great, interesting interviews. There are a whole lot more coming up, and I really want you to benefit from them. The other change, though, that I'm making is that instead of just doing a big block of CES-related interviews and just putting everything else on the shelf, to make sure that, for example, the Mac Voices live shows don't go out of date too far, I'm interspersing them with the CES coverage. So just because you see a Mac Voices live interview show up, excuse me, or a Mac Voices live show show up in the feeds, it doesn't mean that the CES coverage is over. You'll know when it's over because I'll, I'll let you know. But there's just a lot more coming. Please, please check it out. The other change is that with the CES uh, interviews, I've started producing individual show artwork, individual episode artwork, excuse me. This is something I had mentioned to you, I think, a while back. I've been looking for a format. Apple is encouraging it because it, they find that folks are a little more interested if there's something specific to each episode. And also, it will potentially raise the visibility of it within Apple Podcasts. So we started to do that. I struggled with a format that I was comfortable with because I didn't want something that is AI art generated and no no aspersions to those who do that. That's great. It just didn't feel like it fit the tone of the show and the tone of the information I'm trying to deliver. So what you're seeing is you're seeing titles, you're seeing an indication of what it is, whether it's CES, whether it's Mac Voices Live, whether it's another category of show. And you're also going to see uh, some of the artwork, some of the screenshots that I would normally use full screen or have normally used in the past. Um, and of course, our logo. So that way, you're getting information from the graphic, you're getting a sense of who we're talking to and what they look like, which in my opinion is always important because otherwise, why do you do video? And you, you're getting it in something that I think is an informative fashion that suits, at least it suits me, and I hope it suits you. I'd love to have your opinions on it, so please drop me an email at chuck at macvoices.com and let me know what you think, whether you like it, whether you don't like it, whether there's, whether there's something that you think would fit better with the show and with the information-oriented nature of the show. I'd love to hear from you. A little bit of a scheduling note here. 
Mac Voices Live is on Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, whatever time there is, wherever you are, on YouTube at youtube.com slash macvoicestv. We are not going anywhere. I do have a couple schedule conflicts on Tuesday nights coming up in the next few weeks, and just want to make sure you know that we're not going anywhere or we're not just fading away. It's just sometimes those things happen, and inevitably they seem to stack up one against the other or in, in close succession. So just be aware that if you if you tune into Mac Voices Live and it's not there on Tuesday night, don't worry about it. It'll most likely be back next week. And you probably want to follow my Twitter or X, um, Mastodon, or Facebook feeds um, for announcements because I would try to give you a heads up if at all possible. So just so you know, we're not going on anywhere with the live show. It just may skip a couple weeks here on and off. As usual, I'm going to wrap up this update with the support report. But before I do, you may have noticed that Mac Voices in the last few months has not had as many sponsorships as in the past. And this is true of pretty much every podcast out there. Some podcasts have engaged in other practices to try to fill in and backfill their, their revenue streams. Um, some, let's just say, unusual advertisers, uh, a lot of pre-roll ads, a lot of post-roll ads, a lot, even sometimes some mid-roll ad stuffing that goes on with these, these different kind of sponsorships. That's really not an avenue I'm willing to go down. I've always been pretty picky about what advertisers I accept and don't accept on Mac Voices because I want to give, the, give you something that at least I can recommend or use myself or can recommend, as opposed to just saying, okay, you, you pay me some money and I'll put your ad in my, uh, in my show. That just doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel like I'm, I'm holding up my end of the contract you and I have together. So... That means that Patre the Patreon sponsorships are even more important than ever. Because yes, I am leaving money on the table, but that's my choice. But if you can help us out with Patreon, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it at patreon.com slash macvoices. If you can't, I understand that too. And I deeply appreciate all the other ways that you help support the show, whether it's by liking or retweeting or reposting or whatever, whichever platform you use, um, our, our show announcements, whether you buy through our affiliate links, or whether you do uh, visit the advertisers that I choose to accept and put in the show. Whether you decide to buy their product or subscribe to their product, that's up to you. But just the fact that you visit helps a great, great deal. So I want to let you know, you know, what is happening and what's not happening, why you're not seeing it. I'm trying to find some other ways to generate some revenue and make sure everything stays in the black, if at all possible. But that's where things stand right now. And if it changes, I will make sure to update you so that you're aware that it is a conscious, intentional decision. With that, let's get to this month's support report. And again, before I do, these are the folks that really have been with us uh, some short term, some a lot longer term. I appreciate every single month being able to read their names as supporters and Patreons, patrons, Patreons, patrons of Mac Voices. It means a great deal and it definitely helps me continue to bring you the show. With that, at Platinum, we have Arvi. At Gold, we have Web B, Jason C, David G, Robert G, Tim G, and Frank P. At Silver, we have Baz, Craig A, Eric B, Eric C, Brett C, Dominic D, Bruce E, Cletus H, Barry M, Chuck P, George R, Andrea S, and Daniel S. And at Bronze, we have Max C, Brian F, Craig A, Craig H, Kathy, Clinton M, John M, and Prop P. You may get tired of hearing it, but I never get tired of saying it. Thank you, thank you so much to our Patreon supporters. Whether you've been here for a month or for months or even years, you are the folks who help keep us going. Thank you very much. Please keep it up. Folks, for those of you who are not Patreon supporters, thank you for all the support you give us through some of the other ways that I mentioned before and even others. Just telling friends means a great deal if they become aware of the show and hopefully get something out of it. 
I'm Chuck Joyner. That's the January 2024 Mac Voices update. I'll be back with more soon. As always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at BackbeatMedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at Cashfly.com.